This week, we find out who holds the top five spots in high torque wrenches. We take a look at all nine different 40 volt circular saws from Makita, and we get a peek at the 2021 Ideal National Championships and find something completely new from DeWalt. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. This episode is brought to you by Skill, the tools to do the job, the technology to do it better, and Spider, pro powered tools. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. Sarah is out with a sick family, and this awesome year ends in just seven hours from now. So what do you say we see just how fast I can burn through today's Power Tool news, starting with the team at Torque Test Channel, who after a full year of impact reviews, including over 150 different tools and 1,350 different tests, has determined the top five most powerful half-inch impacts and high-torque tools. Not going to spoil the surprise. Just go watch it. Dave was in his man caver again. This time he gathered every hammer drill he has and then devised a test that was so extreme every single tool fails it. You know, just to varying degrees. The crazy blokes over at Hayes Machinery continue their series exploring the Milwaukee M12 versus M18 debate, this time testing their impact wrenches on the typical bolts. But for good measure, they also spin out the rusted chainsaw clutch off a of Husqvarna. Makes sense to me. Our buddy Bill and his lovely wife Michelle went to the Ideal National Championship in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee to watch young students, apprentices, and pros all compete in a variety of electrical challenges for some seriously big prizes. How about $40,000 for running a few wires and finding code violations? Looks super easy. I'm sure I could win that, right guys? Tools and Stuff shared a couple of really entertaining videos this week. First, a mega compilation of his two screw reviews from 2021. He essentially takes two tools, two screws, and you know you can put the rest together yourself. He also shared a mega review of every Makita 40 volt circular saw. How many of those could there possibly be, you ask? I didn't watch the whole thing, but it's an hour long, so I'm just gonna guess 234. You know, or nine maybe, I don't know. But Makita really likes making 40 volt circular saws, I do know that. Next, we've got our very first appearance of Mastering Mayhem here on the show. If you're not familiar with Marius, he's a really great tool tuber who runs an amazing power tool giveaway program every weekend. You wanna be sure to check that out. He also does a bunch of tool shopping videos and this week, his tool shopping obsession brought him in contact with the all new DeWalt 2100 PSI compact pressure washer. And this time, he doesn't just tell you how to get the best price, but also shot a very detailed review of this really unique format pressure washer that you should really check out. Todd is busy testing bolt cutters this week, which on its face sounds mind-numbingly boring, but it's Todd, so it's fast-paced and full of creative testing jigs that eventually destroy everything he's testing. So yeah, I just watched 15 minutes of bolt cutter testing and I'm happy about it. Richard over at Finnish Carpentry TV is sick and tired of you guys asking why carpenters have so many different nail guns. So he quit YouTube. But not before making a great video this week explaining why carpenters have so many different nail guns. It's a good idea to watch this before you buy one. Now our next show will be on January 7th, 2022, which I've heard is supposed to be an amazing year. Like all of our viruses will be named after Decepticons. So, you know, that should be fun. And while life may not be perfect, the production crew here at Belts and Boxes thinks we can do something about that. So be sure to watch our January 7th show for your first look at our 2022 plans, specifically those involving over $24,000 in glorious power tools. I wanna thank Skill and Spider for sponsoring this episode. Guys, season four couldn't have happened without you. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you in season five. Happy New Year, everybody.